Hello, this is Shindo. And this is Lucifera. Coming to you again from Roswell Park, right here in the center of town. Today, I'd like to discuss something that's political. I don't like discussing politics. I am not political. I am apolitical. But time and time again, these things keep coming up that really force me to say something because I'm so inclined to do so. Now, I am from the state of Alabama, and currently there is a man who is running for senator from the state of Alabama, a Republican, who has been accused by at least nine women of having done very despicable sexual things to them when they were children, okay? Now, the Republicans who, and specifically the evangelical Christian Republicans, are about as hypocritical as they come because they have for years assumed that all the accusers of Bill Clinton were telling the truth. I believe the accusers of Roy Moore. I believe the accusers of Bill Clinton. If you've ever been the victim of that kind of thing, you understand that it takes a lot to come out and face your accuser, uh, to accuse your victimizer. So I believe that. I believe that even half of them are telling the truth that it should give you pause and you shouldn't elect a man like Roy Moore. But in modern Christian ideology, they seem to believe that the end justifies the means. It doesn't. Just because Roy Moore may be pro-life, just because he may put in uh, Senate, uh, excuse me, Supreme Court justices that will vote the way you personally feel about things certainly doesn't mean that it's a right thing for you to vote for him. I believe Roy Moore will win, and I want him to win. The reason I want him to win is because it continues to expose you Christians as the monsters that you truly are. You have totally disregarded any kind of morality. You've totally disregarded any kind of character in the people that you've chosen to represent you in the government. And if you t believe that a true God, a just God, a loving God, a God that you praise and worship, is okay with that, then you're delusional. You're more than delusional. You're insane. And that's what's happening. And this is what Lucy and I have been warning about for years. They are trying to set up a theocracy. It is more important to them, as it is, as Roy Moore himself ha has said, it's more important to dictate the commandments that you can find in an Old Testament, a commandments of a Hebrew war god from the Old Testament is more important to abide by those things than it is to abide by the Constitution, the law of the land. Christians have become completely schizophrenic and worse than that, they are completely immoral. You continue to vote these people in you will reap the whirlwind. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. You get progressively worse, and now you're exposing yourself for who you are. Now, Lucy has a few things to say. You know, I separate the true people of the Spirit 
from the religious, the the uh, the the ones who are high up there. They are the Satan of this world. They are adversaries. They are the wicked. So I am separating the true people of the spirit from those who are religious and think they know everything. So I am going to read from my journal again uh, two entries. In, okay. This one is on what true love and faith is about and what false faith and love is about false love do not be fooled by the love and light crowd they are living in fantasy land they believe all will ascend to heaven or, mer or merge into the divine oneness uh, without doing any work to get there to get there they believe in grace and love which you can tell is complete hogwash which you uh, you shall know you shall know them by their fruits this doctrine of grace is extremely dangerous it allows people to do it allows people to do whatever they want and get away with it because of because Jesus or God will save you so heaven must be filled with drunks rapists murderers Fork tongue reprobates, child predators. Who would want to go to a place like that? You are deceiving yourselves if you believe in this doctrine, if you believe in this doctrine of grace, this false doctrine of devils. You will be accountable for your actions. You have no excuses. You have a brain to think. Use it. If you think if you, if you think like a robot, then you might as well be a robot. Listen to the church. Embrace their doctrine of evil. They shall call good evil and evil good. Faith without works is dead. The faith, the, uh, the, the true faith, not the phony faith. A true warrior of light fights for what is pure, noble, and just. True, uh, truth reigns supreme. Light destroys darkness, ignorance, arrogance, evil. True love and light can sometimes be a harsh teacher. You might not always like the lessons or the truth. What is hidden shall be revealed. Remember this, Christians. In, your, in the Bible, it talks about angels of destruction or, and two witnesses who come to shake things up in the last days the world hates them you have forgotten this also these beings are not christians the war uh let's see the world the world would hate them for their message and who they are and who they are Christians are pretty loved by the world. Think about it. Be worthy of the crown of glory. You must work for it. 
nothing comes easy. What does it mean to be called true and faithful? Think about it. The world will continue to ignore this message, the same Christ message, but a new song. Do not let your arrogance blind you. Rise, Legion. Rise, Julian Jesuits. Rise, true Israel. You are the angels of truth and justice. Fight for what is right. My people, you are more than you know. You are new Rome, new Atlantis, new Jerusalem. The free woman. Recognize that. Embrace it. Be true to it. Be genuine and humble yourselves. This one is called the Senate. Angels of Justice, our time is at hand. The World Senate, Satan, shall reap the whirlwind. They have, they have done nothing good for this world. They are a sinister force, beguiling, ensnaring, and destroying all those who oppose them. The ugly and the ugly and frightening thing about this is a great many support the great almighty Senate. Wide is the gate that leads to destruction and narrow is the gate that leads to life. This wicked and perverse world needs to be dealt with. Justice comes with a mighty scepter. Oh great senate and vile and filthy world, how you have betrayed and murdered your king, the Lord of Light. You mighty ones, you fork-tongued reprobates, you shall be cast out of your decadent dens. You shall be brought down, and you shall be broken like clay pots by the mighty scepter. Woe, who, woe, you who are, I'm sorry, woe unto you, wicked and perverse generation. Judgment comes swiftly like an iron fist. Justice is mine, saith the Lord. All right, this is Shindo. This is Lucifera. You all have a good Sunday.